Welcome back to day six of the Super Face Lift Challenge. My name is Elise, your favorite face yoga coach. And yesterday we talked about how what you are not able to let go of is manifesting on the face as deflated or saggy cheeks and nasal labial folds. Usually these emotions are depression, grief, or sorrow. And of course, my heart would go out to anyone experiencing these emotions for extended periods of time, but actually they can be balanced through these methods of healing we've been talking about in this series. Today we're talking about the spleen energy. In traditional Chinese medicine, the spleen energy is governing and supporting the other organs in the body. You can think of the spleen energy like the nurturer. The spleen energy is associated with the earth element, which is easy to remember because mother earth. It is associated with the color, color yellow and it governs our muscles. Referencing our face mapping diagram, the spleen energy corresponds to the mouth, the upper lip, and the upper eyelids. So if you are experiencing any issues in these areas specifically, your spleen energy may be out of balance. When your spleen energy is balanced and thriving, you understand the importance of taking time for yourself, taking time for self-care, recharging yourself, you set healthy boundaries, you have good stable energy to do the things you want to throughout the day. Physically, you have a good digestion, a healthy appetite, good muscle health, and the ability to increase muscle mass. Your face is generally lifted and full of volume, especially in the mouth area, the lower cheeks, and the upper eyelids. Let's Let's talk about what happens when your spleen energy is out of balance. So you will let other people's needs come before your own. You have a hard time or the inability to say no and to set boundaries. You may feel overwhelmed like there's so much to do in a day but you don't have the energy to do it. You may be constantly worried about something or someone when there really is no specific reason that you should be worrying and you live in a state of insecurity disappointment and bitterness. Physically, you're gonna see vertical lines on the upper lip, loss of volume in the lower cheeks and around the mouth, sagging and loose skin around the mouth and at the upper eyelids, marionette lines, and a face that just looks drained and exhausted. You will also experience things like constant fatigue, exhaustion, brain fog, trouble waking up in the morning, you have a poor appetite, poor digestion, you may gain weight easily but then have a lot of trouble losing it, you may experience eating disorders or irregular bowel movements, abdominal pain, possible obesity with a lot of the weight gain happening mainly in the belly area, you might experience cravings for sugar, and you will have a difficulty in increasing any type of muscle mass. As you can see how these things are so important in face yoga because in face yoga we're building muscle to lift and increase volume in the face. The spleen energy is most active during the second half of the summer and in between the hours of 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. So if the, either of these time periods are a tricky time for you, whether you notice any illnesses coming up during the later part of the summer, any feelings of depression, sadness, or lack of purpose at the end of the summer, or say maybe in between 9 and 11, you start to feel sluggish, down, any type of negative issues or emotions during those time period, your spleen energy may be asking for help. In addition to face yoga, the best way to balance the spleen energy is gonna be through prioritizing yourself, becoming aware of your own needs, and setting aside time to fulfill them, setting healthy boundaries, resting and recharging, taking a nap during the day if you need it, doing what nurtures you, eating small warm meals, and healthy foods to eat to balance the spleen energy are gonna be fermented foods, healthy fats, root vegetables, and things like quinoa, oats, and lentils. The foods you want to avoid to balance your spleen energy are going to be refined sugar and carbs, pork, dairy, and any ice beverages. Now we're gonna do the exercises and massage that are gonna help balance the spleen energy. When we work with specific muscles, it sends signals to the spleen to start balancing itself. And then we're gonna do a mini meditation so we can really let the feelings of nurturing and self-care sink into our subconscious mind. Let's jump right into it. We're gonna start by working with the upper eyelids today. So we're gonna do an exercise called cat eyes. Bring the base of your palms up to your temples and cover the ends of your eyebrows. With your hands, press in, up, and back. Against the opposite resistance, you're gonna close your eyes and squeeze your eyelids together. So your eyelids are squeezing against the resistance from the hands pulling in the opposite direction. Make sure you breathe through your nose here and try to relax your shoulders and your neck. Make sure you maintain a good posture here 
and keep your elbows wide as you breathe in and out through your nose. Keep feeling the activation here on the outside of your eye and the upper eyelid as your eyelids squeeze down against that opposite resistance. We're going to do this cat eyes three times here to really lock in the benefits and the activations. Keep breathing in and out through your nose and when you're ready you can go ahead and release. Take a rest here before we do this two more times. So for the second time, place your hands back in position. Hands are on the temples. The ends of the eyebrows are lifted up and back and then you slightly press in with your hands. Send your elbows wide and squeeze your eyelids shut against the opposite resistance, really feeling an activation underneath your palms and on the outer corners of the eyes. Make sure you're not tensing in between the eyebrows or in the jaw. Your entire face should be as relaxed as possible, except the eyelids that are doing the contraction. The neck has a tendency to get engaged here, but try really to focus, instead of the strength coming from the neck, try to relax the neck and have the strength really coming from the temporalis muscle, the outside of the eye, using your hands as resistance. Go ahead and release, great job. Take a few breaths here. You can stretch out your neck if you need to. And then we're gonna do cat eyes one more time. If your eyes feel a little blurry from holding in cat eyes, you can do a few eye circles, waking them up, circling around one way and then the other way. And when you're ready, we're gonna meet back in cat eyes. So placing your hands on the temples, lifting up and back, pressing slightly in. This exercise lifts and tones the sides of the face. It also is concentrated on the upper part of the face and eliminates wrinkles on the eyes. We're lifting the upper eyelids here and really opening the face and eliminating any accumulated limp from the lower eyelid. This exercise also helps reduce nasolabial folds. And by putting pressure on this temp temple area, we are improving blood circulation all over the skull and bringing more oxygen and nutrients into the cells. This exercise also can improve vision and balance the hormonal system and really can reduce headaches and give you an energy boost. Go ahead and release. We're moving on to the eyebrow lifter. So with one hand, fan it across your forehead and lift up your brows. With the other hand, you're going to make little mini circles along your entire eyebrow on one side. So like five mini circles, then move to another spot, five mini circles. And so you're moving from the center all the way out to the outside. And we're gonna do this a couple times on each side, really intending to release any of the tension and stress from the eyebrow so that the eyelid can naturally lift. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So lift up the eyebrows, take the opposite hand and making mini circles across the eyebrow, starting from the center and working your way out. So we'll do three on each side, following along the line of the whole eyebrow here. And make sure this is getting enough into the muscle. It's not a, 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 a lymphatic massage. We really want to release tension here. So it doesn't need to be hard, but as long as you are massaging the muscle. Go ahead and release, and we're moving on to the single balloon. So make your cheeks filled up with air, and then take your fingers and place them on your lips so you don't create any lip wrinkles. With the opposite hand, you're gonna press the air from one cheek all the way into the other cheek. So you feel the opposite cheek filled up tight with air. Be careful that you're not creating wrinkles with your fingers on the cheek, and then keep all your other facial muscles relaxed here. We're holding in this pose for 30 seconds before we'll switch sides. Make sure that you are breathing here. Do not hold your breath in this pose. And make sure you're not losing your posture. So we're sitting up straight and shoulders are rolled back. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So taking the opposite hand to the lips now, pressing the air from one side all the way to the opposite side. Really feel that other side expanding, making sure we're not creating any wrinkles on the cheeks. Make sure that your face is relaxed, the area in between the eyebrows are relaxed, the eyebrows are relaxed, your neck and shoulders are relaxed, and keep breathing in and out through your nose very gently. 
go ahead and release. Great job. We're going to move on to lip press. So what you're going to do is smile and then wrap your lips around your teeth, stick out your tongue, and then bite down on your tongue over the closed lips. Place your fingertips next to the mouth corners on each side evenly so we don't create wrinkles on the outer mouth corners and on the cheeks. Now keep your mouth activated. The lips should be activated and your tongue is activated here. So both the tongue and the lips are activated and we're biting down on the tongue with our closed lips. Make sure that you're sitting up straight, your neck is relaxed, and then you can go ahead and release and we'll move back to the single balloon and we'll do this duo two more times. So placing your hands in position, fill your cheeks with air, press the air all the way over to one side Make sure you're breathing in and out through your nose here. And make sure, of course, you're sitting up straight. Really feel the expansion of that cheek on the opposite side. Make sure you're not creating any pinches or wrinkles on the cheek. And the fingers on the lips, they're holding the air, and they're also making sure you're not creating any lip tension. Great job. Go ahead and we'll switch sides. So creating a balloon and pressing there all the way to the opposite side, feeling that other side expand and fill up with air. All the wrinkles are releasing, the tension is releasing, pressing it over. This is also going to increase circulation and brighten our cheeks. Hold here, breathing in and out through the nose. Make sure your fingers aren't slipping and then go ahead and release, great job. Moving back to lip press, wrap your lips around your teeth, stick out your tongue, place your hands in position, and make sure to use a mirror here if you want to increase symmetry in the lips. This exercise is great for creating mouth symmetry, but you have to make sure that you are holding the mouth corners at the same level. So the tongue is activated, the lips are activated, and we're biting down on an activated tongue. Make sure that your jaw is completely relaxed here. And of course, the middle of the eyebrows are relaxed. Breathe in and out through your nose and then go ahead and release. And then we're gonna do the single balloon one last time. So take a deep breath in through your nose, fill your cheeks with air, place your fingers on your lips, keeping the air in and then press that air all the way to the other side. This exercise is great for lifting and strengthening the lower cheekbone area. It's also going to help erase a wrinkles around the mouth, smooth nasal labial lines, and any smile lines and lines around the mouth. Go ahead and release. Take a deep breath in, fill your cheeks with air, and then move to the other side. So we're working with the buccinator muscle here, and that is going to send signals to our spleen energy to begin to balance. We're also activating our internal glands and actually the whole skull because of the increased volume made by the air filling up the mouth. So an excellent exercise for balancing the spleen energy and of course brightening the skin and all those other benefits. Go ahead and release and we'll do the lip press one last time. So smile, wrap your lips around your upper and lower teeth, bite down on your activated tongue and place your hands in position. This exercise is amazing for reversing upper lip lines, any fine lines and wrinkles around the mouth. It's going to revitalize the lips, plump up the lips, and again, it's going to increase mouth symmetry and uneven mouth corners. So as long as you're holding your hands in the level position, you're really going to promote symmetry of the lips here. So a great exercise for the entire mouth muscle, the lips, and the outside mouth corners. Go ahead and release. Great job. We're going to release any tension that could have developed in the mouth muscle with the lip pinches. So take your index finger and thumb and gently pinch your lips from side to side, really relaxing your lips as much as possible and letting your fingers massage out any tension, stagnations, or pressure you feel in this area. Completely try to relax your lips and really let your fingers do the work here. Just keep sitting up straight and breathing in and out through the nose. Imagine any tension just drifting away and then go ahead and release. Great job. 
And that is it for the exercises. We're going to gently move into our mini meditation. So please find a comfortable seat and we will begin. Take a big deep breath in through your nose and enjoy a long, slow exhale out through your mouth. You are doing a wonderful thing and taking some time for some much deserved self-care. Adjust your body so you are sitting comfortably and just relax as you are guided through this mini meditation. There is nothing for you to do other than relax, enjoy, and recharge your nurturing spirit. You are enough. Just how you are, without doing anything, you are special and beautiful and worthy. Take your attention to your upper eyelids. Notice how they feel. Are they heavy? Calm? Fluttering? Do you feel any emotions when you take your awareness here? Now move your attention to your mouth. Notice how it feels when you arrive here. Do you feel any emotions when you put your awareness at your mouth? If you feel any tension in the lips or the mouth, let that completely release into thin air. Feel the freeness in your lips and mouth. Give gratitude to this area of your face. Your mouth does so much for you. You can eat, drink, give someone a compliment, and blow a kiss. Your mouth does so much for you, and now you are showing some love back. Your mouth and lips react kindly to your act of self-love. Now remember this feeling anytime throughout the day when you feel depleted or overextended. When you take time to care for yourself, you have more to give to others. When you are ready, gently open your eyes and know how much you are loved. That's it for today's video on the spleen energy and how to balance it to reverse upper lip lines, sagging cheeks, and droopy eyelids. I hope you enjoyed this video or learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow for the final day, day seven. Namaste.